If you're a registered voter in California, you've probably received your ballot by now. But if you're still confused about how to fill it out, we've got you. So first, open up your envelope and see what's inside. You should have a return envelope and folded up cardstock paper with directions. Step 1. Check that you have all the components. We already found the envelope, so now let's count and make sure all ballot cards are there. Every city will have different measures and races, so you might not have the same number of pages as your friend. Step 2. Vote. Use only blue or black ink because the voting machine will only read these colors. Otherwise, it might reject your ballot. Make sure you fill in the circle completely and don't mark more than indicated. If you're writing in a candidate, write legibly. And remember, you don't need to vote in every race. Step 3. Once you've voted, pack your ballot cards into the return envelope, but don't include the instruction card. Do not forget to sign your envelope. Make sure the signature matches that of your ID, or your ballot will be subject to additional review. Be sure to date it, and write in the address you registered under. If, for whatever reason, you're unable to sign, you can still make a mark or use a DMV-approved stamp in the presence of a witness over 18 years old. You can authorize a relative to return your ballot in person to your county elections official office or polling place in your county. You simply need to authorize them here. Step 4. Return your ballot. The back of your instruction card has convenient Dropbox locations according to your registered address. You can also go to lavote.net to find more within LA County. Another website is the California Secretary of State website shown here. Simply type in your address, click search, and it'll display various early voting and Dropbox locations within the map radius for the 2020 election. The contact info tab shows contact information for your county registrar in case you have any concerns about your ballot. The where to vote page shows early voting sites, drop boxes, and locations with multiple services. The information on the left of the map shows the address, dates opened, and hours of the location selected. Here is an authorized LA County drop box. It's blue, white, and yellow, and has information available in different languages on either side. If you want to drop it off in a blue mailbox, you can locate them nearby with this website. Simply enter your zip code, select a location, and it'll show you its address. If you want to track your ballot, go to california.ballottracks.net, enter your voter information, click register, and it'll ask you to enter your notification preference, either email, text, or phone call. It even lets you set time preferences. When you click confirm, it takes you to a final page where you see the progress of your ballot. When it got to you, when it's on its way back, when the county election office receives it, and when it's accepted. It even shows you the status of your last election ballot. If you need assistance reviewing and marking your mail-in ballot, go to lavote.net slash ravbm. Here you'll find more information about accessible voting. So if you're voting by mail, make sure your ballot is postmarked on or before election day or that it's dropped off at a drop box or voting center by 8 p.m. on election day. And congrats! You formally voted by mail in the 2020 election. Go ahead and take that sticker and show it off. For more information, go to lavote.net.